What's going on guys, we are back once again, we're going to be talking about some more of The Last of Us Part 3 of where it could possibly go on Ellie's journey. Now we are going to be talking about this as just how I would want it or where I would think the series can possibly go. Now there is a lot of possibilities of where this can go because again, uh, when Last of Us Part 2 came out, there was a lot of di uh, diversion between the fandom of Ellie and everybody else because again, of the uh, spoilers, I'm going to say Joel's death of a uh, Abby killing him and then of course playing as the killer who played Joel, the beloved character in the very first game and then of course playing Ellie majority of the game and then going on as Abby and then going to play as Ellie once more and of course having Ellie let Abby go after the events of the end game. Now, honestly, there is going to be another video I'm going to make on the possibility of what Abby would be doing in uh, part three because well, I could see Abby returning as well, but I'm going to be talking about Ellie more in this video. So I'd like to know your thoughts on uh, what is possibly going to happen in the events of Last of Us Part 3, so let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comments, but let me go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on this. Honestly, I'd love to see a little bit of a time gap, not too much. I'd love to see maybe a few months, maybe to like maybe a year or two, because honestly, with the very end of the game, uh, her returning to, I guess, the outskirts of Jackson, uh, Tommy angry with her, knowing that she did not want to uh, kill uh, Abby, but then he changed her mind, and then he leaves. To, uh, she leaves to go find Abby, but then we also see where she lets her go. So obviously the truth is going to come out that she went out there pretty much for nothing. Because either way, if she didn't go out there, Abby would have died. But that's the unknowing of her if she did die. And she can't let it go because of having PTSD. Uh, felt like she needs to avenge Joel's death. But then still uh, letting her go because she let Ellie go. Uh, due to the same events of why uh, Abby let her go to begin with and then we also know that Dina may not know not want nothing to do with her uh, because Dina basically gave her a choice you know you can stay with us and build a family or you can go after someone that ain't worth it and I may not be here when you come back and she comes back she's losing a few fingers she uh, now may return to Jackson she may not be wanted in Jackson Tommy may have her excluded from Jackson or Miranda may have her uh, her and Tommy slid from Jackson. Uh, honestly, I could see uh, her and Tommy possibly, maybe she left at some point on her own accord, or maybe they told her that she's not welcome there at the moment, uh, where, you know, hey, you know, I didn't kill Abby, and then, you know, maybe Tommy gets so angry where at some point they have to leave either together or they have to leave at separate times and they run into each other again. Uh, I would personally see that because I don't see where they could stay in Jackson for a uh, huge time frame of the game. I'd prefer to see... Uh, Tommy leave at his own accord where I would see her possibly running into Tommy. I'd like to see them both on bikes at some point because of that one scene that we got to see where Joel was talking about where him and Tommy were on bikes for his birthday. I'd personally love to see that because I think it'd be pretty cool. But to see a possibility of just uh, Tommy and Ellie reuniting and just going, okay, look, you know, uh, we're still trying to deal with the death of Joel and we just don't know how to do it. And I think that's exactly what this is going to be. It's possibly just uh, them running into infected, of course, possibly uh, Ellie having po still possible PTSD from uh, Joel's death as well as also trying to kill Abby and then maybe her regretting not to kill Abby. And then also at the same time, maybe we see where something she gets a uh, another... So maybe she actually finds out that there is another immune human being out there and she finds a rumor and she goes out to find this rumor and honestly I'd love to see them travel I like to see where you were able to travel in Last of Us Part 3 I don't want to be confined to just one space certain parts of the game I like to see a little travel uh, possibly a little bit like Red Dead a little bit maybe where you're able to travel to different areas honestly I'd love to see where if she is traveling on her own or with Tommy or with somebody else that she comes across where she maybe can be like a mentor figure to, uh, sort of like how Joel was to her uh, maybe a mother figure to someone else maybe a young boy or young girl uh, like how Joel was to her once again and just see how she can uh, improve maybe get her own redemption like okay look this didn't work out with Dina this didn't work out with this maybe I can do something where I can redeem myself into something and honestly I'd love to see her somehow make her way through Texas and go to Joel's old house uh, possibly find remnants of where he lived there with Sarah before the outbreak and even after the outbreak and see what's left because honestly I'd love to see you know something where Ellie goes into uh, Sarah's room and, and just kind of sit there for a minute and figure it out that that was Sarah's room and she just kind of makes her own little piece with Sarah saying you know I, I think Joel or, or your dad 
you know, I think we would have been good friends or, you know, even, you know, stepsisters possibly, you know, because Joe loved her as a daughter and he never tried to replace uh, her with Sarah and he always loved Sarah in his own way and he loved uh, Ellie in his own way. So Ellie was his daughter and I think that that would probably be a very significant moment for Last of Us fans to have Ellie possibly go to Joel's house in Texas and be able to just sit there in the house, see how Joel's life possibly was before the outbreak, as well as also what the possibility of her meeting Joel at some point, or if she ever would run into Joel, or if she ever run into Sarah, if Sarah and her maybe would have a relationship, or maybe uh, some type of relationship, whether it had been um, in a romantic setting, or just as best friends or something because who knows uh she could have gone to college ellie could have gone to college and they could have met became good friends and maybe that's how she could have met joel so there's all these possibilities of what the franchise could go in and also see her possibly run into these other uh antagonists and run into more infected uh other infected that we've never come across before ones we've have felt come across as well as also be able to be that lone uh type of uh smuggler possibly she could be a smuggler like joel was and go into different cities and just be that lone wolf type standing and she'd just go on about her business and she'd be in her probably mid to uh, late 20s and just still be dealing with the death of Joel and she hasn't fully embraced it yet and then coming across Tommy who maybe has become a hermit or just you know still doesn't know what it, what he's got to do with his life and what's happened to Joel as well and maybe, maybe they need to come together to find some type of foe, uh, foe and just be able to deal with them and maybe she'll run into Abby at some point again and maybe they can finally make peace uh, rather than having the way they did at The Last of Us Part 2 so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments uh, there's a lot of it I've been thinking on there's a lot of possibility i love to see uh honestly like i did say i'd love to see a lot more uh traveling in uh last of us part two i'd like to see uh, what could possibly happen in the last of us part three uh and also you know more than likely we will be getting a part three uh probably in a couple years or maybe in a few more years because again it took about seven years to do the second one it was a very uh enticing moment to see last of us part two a lot of us was like down a lot of us was upset a lot of us felt betrayed but honestly i really like to see what they have in store for us at the end of the day for last of us part three so let me know what you guys like to see as ellie's story uh obviously we're gonna be seeing ellie again but what would you like to see as part of her story in last of us part three i'd really like to know i appreciate you guys i appreciate your time i love you guys if you guys are new channel, also consider about subscribing as well click the notification bell if you guys are new so that way you guys are notified every time i upload a video you guys know what to do comment down below leave a like on the video i greatly appreciate it and i'll See you as always on the next one.